San Francisco and NYC will be having shows in December in your area. First, December 8th, we've got Hack City, our monthly stand-up show. Tickets already going fast. It's happening at 7.30 p.m. at Union Hall in Brooklyn. Then, on December 19th, we've got two shows in San Francisco happening at Arcana. That's in the Mission. There's a show at 7 and at 9.30. Two shows, December 19th. 7 and 9.30 in San Francisco. Tickets for all of our events in the episode description or go to asianotasianpod.com. Come hang out with your favorite Asian friends. That's me and Jenny. And who knows else who's going to come. It's going to be great. See you then. Part of improv is just like being confident, like not overthinking. And I was overthinking. The other thing is I performed in a show where it was like the next generation of improvisers and they were really great. Mm. And I was like, oh, I'm like aging out. Episode of the Asian Not Asian Podcast. Podcast with all your Asian favorite, favoritest Asian friends. Uh, it's Mike Nguyen. I'm Jenny Arimoto. We're listening to the new Dua Lipa song. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, it's iconic. I finally no? watched Barbie. You just watched it? Yeah, I don't got time for this. That's okay? so crazy. I just, I finally got to, got to watch it You love to have all. like cultural conversation <laughs> eight months after it happened. I just, uh, yeah, I finally... Um, got to it. Yeah, got to it. And what did you think? I mean, I saw it twice in theaters. <laughs> I thought it was really good. I it it like didn't finish off what it started. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It didn't like push through the thing that it wanted to say. Huh? You know? No. It was like it was like it was like, it, it like didn't make me go. Yeah, this is subversive. You know? It's not subversive. Yeah. It's and then, like it's like mainstream feminist. Yes, white feminist. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And it uh and and I really liked Ryan Gosling, but he was in it too much. <gasps> <laughs> what? It was the Ken movie. It was he had a dance number. I know, but I love Ryan. I mean I liked it too, but I was I like, loved I was Ryan like, Gosling. I, like, I thought he was a highlight. I which is I know not good to say, but like what a fun character. I mean he, and it, he really brought it to life. But see, you know what I'm saying? Like there's like a complication that Ken has that I feel like Barbie didn't like, have this didn't thing. have. Oh, interesting. You know, like there was like an unexpected take of Ken. And yeah. that was like a the Barbie take. I was like not to say that it was unexpected, but it was like yeah, like nineties. This is like a, this would be subversive in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I really don't think it's like subversive. I think uh, like both sides of the spectrum, like intense, like, yeah. like conservative people were like, uh, like, yeah. what are you saying? Men are, you don't yeah. need men. So there's that side. But then there's the other side that's like, well, that was like, what is this? Right. You know, I thought yeah. it would make more of a point or whatever, yeah. but it's like squarely mainstream mm. you know, liberal stuff. Yeah. But I thought it was fun. No, it's a great, it's fun. <laughs> it's a fun movie. The, the set design alone should win an Academy Award. And the scene, I would, I get a lot of I um, behind the scenes for a while. I mean, it's been months since I've seen this stuff, but oh, basically okay, the God. slow motion stuff, Oh. they were trying to figure out how to do it and they opted for everyone acting in slow motion. <laughs> and I was like, that's the Barbie movie. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like yeah. weirdly analog in that way, yeah, which is fun. That's what I'm saying. There, there were like choices like that yeah, that were I like really that. cool. It's just I like thought fun really and cool. stupid in yeah. some ways. And you're like, how fun? Yes. Just a bunch of adults dressed as Ken. Yeah. Fighting in slow motion. Yes. Yes. I love that. Yeah. yeah. That, that part was really. I'm was, glad was you watched thing. it. And I'm glad we're having cultural conversation Months in later. December 2023 yeah. about Barbie. Well, well, one day I'll watch Oppenheimer. <laughs> and then we can talk about that as well. Uh, no, anyways, this is a podcast about not about. Well, it is about Barbie in a way, you know, it's about <laughs> everything's about Barbie. You no, know, uh, reversing your expectations on stuff um, very quickly before we jump into it. We got a show December 19th, baby, in San Francisco. Meow, 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 meow. Tickets are going fast, which Very is fast. crazy because none of us have really posted about it. Yeah, so we've just been putting it out. So we got it's two shows on the 19th in San Francisco at Arcana. Uh, that's in the Mission. Um, there's a 7.30 and a 9.30. I know 9.30 is super late. In San Francisco, it's super late. That's super late, but it's going to be fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, get out there. Reclaim your... Uh, your your birthright <laughs> get out there on a yeah, tuesday get out there. in the mission you know it'll be a lot of fun uh me and jenny will be there obviously and uh we got uh dylan adler mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. Dylan McKeever, mm-hmm. uh, my good previous friend, guest. previous guest, uh, my good friend David Nguyen will be on there, and uh, some other people. So uh, tickets available um, if you uh, go to asiannotasianpod.com or go to the episode description. Uh, also, uh, if this if this comes out the way I think it's going to come out, we still have tickets for um, Hack City, which is a Friday. Uh, shoot. December 8th. December 8th. And which that's is next be, week. Which is next Friday. So it's on Friday, December 8th. That's at 730 Union Hall. That's going to be in Brooklyn. We are by coastal motherfucker. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, please come out. We would love to see you. Uh, let's also real quick shout out our Patreon because we're behind. I, yeah, I know. We're wild behind. I know, I know. On, on Patreon. Uh, yeah. Patreon, if you guys don't know or do know, whatever. Uh, best way to support the podcast. It is... Uh, I literally take the money from there and I turn it into content. Okay, <laughs> it is the, it's the it's the dollar to content pipeline. I, w- I was just about to say that. Were you? That's so crazy. We hang out too much. I know. I'm sick of you. You were saying earlier that you got you're starting to dress a little bit more preppy. I think because of me, baby. It might be that. Look it the scarf might be. I could put on around my <laughs> you neck. You do have a scarf. I got a scarf and a vest. I'm so hot. Yeah, your core must be warm as hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you said it like in such a like throwing shape. Your core must be warm, warm as, as hell. hell. Look at you, you, um, yeah, these are fighting words. You, you warm cord motherfucker. <laughs> like, you would offend a lizard if you said that. Um, <laughs> Patreon is the best way to support the podcast, and we give you a little shout out on the pod if you um, contribute. So, uh, and we give you a little backstory. So here's our, our first Patreon. Okay, subscriber. and we're gonna go quick. We're gonna go quick. Yeah, Megan Zhang. Megan Zhang. Megan Zhang, baby. Megan um, Jong, Megan Jong. Ooh, Megan. Oh, Jong. um, she was blonde up until recently, and then oh, she just a went, blonde Asian. She just died to brunette. Ah, uh, so she like she finished her evolution. Yeah, her evolution okay, finished cool. like cool. three weeks ago. Wow. Yeah. And okay, so she's like she found like a stable relationship, someone who understands her. Yeah, she had like her full arc, you know, where the she full was arc. the full blonde arc. The full blonde arc. Where she was like found herself. Yeah. And like f- like found her friends, and she was like, it's time for me to go back to where I was, like <laughs> go back to who I am. <laughs> Dyed her hair brown. Yeah. Yeah, she's in a new relationship. Yeah. Um, and she's like, uh, just started a new job. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Wow. Sounds like Barbie. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, Megan John, thank you so much. Thank the you next, so much, Megan. The next one is Chris Suyat. Chris Suyat. Go ahead. Chris Suyat. Chris Suyat. Mm, mm. Okay, this person, I'm thinking. I'm oh, wait, thinking. I, have, I, I have a vision. Oh, go, 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 go. Chef. Whoa, chef. He's a chef. Okay. Like a um, line chef type person. But, like at a, but at a fancy restaurant. A fancy place. Yeah. Okay. A fancy Chinese place. Really? Yeah. But like for white people. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you, you, we're not talking about like the, the golden pavilion or something. No, no, no. I'm talking like like, like, a nice... like an upscale Chinese place that caters to white people. Fair. Okay. Do you I know like what I that. mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's cool. Okay. And, and it's like on the list. Is like he, it's on the infatuation. Is he, is he, is he, he likes it there? Yeah. Okay. But he's ready for a new adventure. Hmm. He's thinking there's a time to like, you know, break out on his own. Yeah. Try to do that little like taco truck where he has like, he's, he's, he's selling like high end sesame balls. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. Yeah. Which sounds actually delicious. That sounds great. Yeah. And uh, we thank you for contributing, Chris. Yeah. Thank and you, we'll Chris. be looking forward to your very, very sexy sesame balls in our face. <laughs> uh, the last one. This is going to be a little tricky because there's we just. There's no name. There's no last name. name. Real name. Amanda D. Amanda D. Amanda D. Yes. Uh, Amanda D. This person. Uh huh. I don't know why. Uh, my vision, and as we speak, Amanda D is on a cross country trip <gasps> right now. Wow. Right this second. Uh huh. Okay. And what is she doing? Moving or is it vacation or is it for a lover? It, it was a relationship that didn't work out. <gasps> and, and she's coming home? She's coming home for the holidays, baby. Oh, okay? my God. And she stopped by Flag, Flagstaff, Arizona, <laughs> and was like, you know, I need to contribute to this Patreon right now. So yeah. she did. Because she's been listening on this long-ass drive. On this drive. long trip, dude. She's listening to me she's, talk about, like, failing in my dating life. It's taking a while for her to life. get to wherever she needs to go, but she is, she is on her way. She's on her way back home to your Belinda, <laughs> California. <laughs> Your Belinda, baby, on uh-huh. her way back home, and uh, you know she's she's 
She's gonna start fresh. She's gonna start fresh. Twenty twenty four is gonna be a big year for her. Yeah. But uh, that's 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 her that's her her jam. She's right like now. crying at the wheel, right? Like. <laughs> she's crying. Like you know, like you can see the vision. Like <laughs> she's in Flagstaff, and like tear <laughs> one tears rolling down yeah. her face. She's listening to us, and then occasionally to Dua Lipa. Yeah. That's it, baby. And again, that's patreoncom slash Asian, not Asian Pod. Uh, come check us out. That'd be great. Uh, let's uh, get into our guest. Yes. Yeah, our guest today, writer, editor. <laughs> she was a, a editor at she was at Rolling Stone and now is currently at the New York Times Magazine. Blonde Asian, yes. or, although who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah. Give it up for middle of the arc. Middle of the <laughs> yeah, arc. Middle of the arc. <laughs> middle of the arc. Uh, it's Amy X Wang. Woo! Hey, thank you guys for having wow. me. Oh thanks my gosh, for thanks coming. for coming. Good to be here. And <laughs> and smelling really nice. Oh, wow. I just, I just, uh, smelling this I whole just sprayed on this um, perfume that I picked up like last year and has become my scent. And oh, okay. scent I, like, is it? Yeah, which one? Around. Well, it's the, I, I can't even pronounce it. It's the Maison Curtis, <laughs> Maison yes. Francis Kyrgyzstan Rouge Baccarat. Okay. Uh, I don't even yeah, know those what words. What the fuck? A scent so complex that like I cannot say it without yeah. stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, highly recommend. Okay. Wow. Okay. I've been thinking about getting into scents. Mm. Me too. It, but it's very daunting. Dangerous, slippery slope. Yeah. Oh, they're so expensive. They're expensive. Like, oh, cool, cool. And there's a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And brand, I don't know, you know what I mean? And yes. have you ever gone and smelled them yourself? And then you're like, by the third one, you're like, I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your nose is like destroyed. Yeah, your nose is destroyed. And you're like, I don't know what's good or bad. Who knows? But I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know where I am physically anymore. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm having out of body experience. Exactly. Right. It's like shrooms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. shrooms. Yeah. Yeah. How did you find your sense? I... This is a good question. I actually discovered this website called like Fragrancia or something okay. that was like basically like a Yelp for scents because oh, I was so oh, overwhelmed. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I read through the ranking of like best scents for if you want like a smoky scent versus mm. a, a floral scent versus a vanilla one. So I picked the smoky one. I was like, this one has nice packaging. I'm going to go find it. Mm. And I found it, smelled it, bought it and was like, that's all I can handle. Like where, I, I can't go do anymore. It, where where was it? Because I'm the imagining sh- like a, um, you know how Harry... Potter finds his wand in that one. Yeah, like, yeah. Ollivander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is, was it like that kind of thing? Like, oh, the perfume chooses you. Right. You know? I went to the shop directly in Paris. Oh, wow. shit. Damn, yeah, that's, that's a cool that's fucking sentence. cool as fuck. I also <laughs> learned from the website that scents like, are cheaper in their place of origin. Oh. So it's like this, this thing is like $300 if you buy it here or like yeah. online or whatever. But yeah. in Paris, it was like 100 euros. I see. It was amazing. Um, but you so have to I buy a plane in. ticket. Yeah. To get yeah. There. Well, it was already there. Okay. So <laughs> it would have been, it, it would have not worked. It would have been very girl math. If yeah. I was like, I'm going to fly <laughs> to Paris. Go. It's goodness. way cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I came in and she was like, the, the shopkeeper was like, do you want to smell any other scents? I was like, no. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh my God. Don't get close to me with any other scents. <laughs> I can only handle this one. <laughs> yeah. Was the shop like amazing and like beautiful? And it all was. It was really beautiful. Fuck. And I feel like because I didn't smell any other scents, I, it did really choose me. Yeah. Like, yeah. From my online experience. That's so big. What a um, beautiful journey. And it's also encouraging me to do something similar. Highly recommend. Yeah. Don't yeah. think too much. Just find it online. Yeah. Go get it. Smell yeah. it, confirm, go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it, I mean, your way of uh, acquiring the scent was a very New York Times uh, <laughs> magazine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very magazine journey. Yeah. 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 You know, it's like, oh, yeah, I went, and went online. So it, it incorporates like digital aspects. Mm. But then there's also a trip to Paris mm. because why the fuck not? It's got a narrative. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I yeah. went to, you know, and I, mm-hmm. and then I ultimately built up to this, you know, this experience and, and, this like little street in Paris and had this whole thing. <laughs> like most of our guests would be like, oh, got it at Costco. Yeah. <laughs> I have I have two gallons of this. Costco probably also has great scents. I remember, <laughs> probably. Like, when I was a kid, I remember going and seeing the scents in like the, you know, like the yeah. big plastic things. Yeah. Where, like they, like those things that like you can't open regardless yes. of how hard you try. Yes. Um, so I was always curious about what they smelled like, but like could never try them out because they didn't have samples. Next time I go to Costco, I'm going to go check it out mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. see what the prices are. Yeah, yeah probably yeah. really good. Yeah. <laughs> were you, uh, I mean, I think you're probably, this was probably after your time, but were you in the Asian sense, scent world, you know, where it was a CK1 Holo Sport Cool Water? Were you ever, do, are you familiar with this? Wait, why are they Asian though? So when... Uh, I was in high school. Those are the scents that were av- 
not available to Asian people, but like <laughs> those are the big ones that you would choose as a guy. Oh. And then, you know, it's like eighty dollars, which in the nineties was like an, an unheard of amount of money yeah. for mm-hmm. a cent, mm-hmm. right? For like a teenager to buy a cent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was always like cool water, which I had, which was my favorite. Uh, still have some Ooh. from the from the nineties. Ooh, vintage. It, it's vintage, wow. baby. It probably smells. It's like acquired, like yeah. a patina. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should sell it's it in, in France. Yeah. Uh, it's cool water. CK one polo sport. Um, uh, Aqua de Gio. <laughs> oh, I know. know? The, I know the name. Yeah, yeah. that sounds familiar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. I'm old. Okay. So were so were those scents like uniquely available to Asian men and like white men wore different scents? So I think the the interesting thing as as Asian dudes and I'm talking about like the Asian gangster dudes they all wore that. But white people didn't wear anything. The white white men <laughs> just body odor. Really? White men just straight up. It was Axe body spray. It was yeah, that or I was Axe body spray. Axe oh, yeah. or Abercrombie. Oh, yeah, that's what I, yeah. I think was the other one, maybe, but like generally, the uh, it was very kind of like you know uh, forward of Asian dudes at the time, I think, because it was like, oh, we want to, uh, you know, we want to smell nice, but it was also like you know, CK one, the brand was like really hot mm-hmm. at the time, mm-hmm. so then it was like, oh, I also have the scents, and interestingly, CK one is uh, it was marketed as like gender neutral. So like you know the scent itself was like for men and for women and, yeah you know anyways so i think it had to like do with that and for whatever reason like asian people like glommed onto those scents as like a hey you know you can see my uh um like auspiciousness like but also logos yeah exactly like <laughs> but you can also smell it wow and i think that was the logic oh wow it was like you so know what I'm saying? it was like it was like look how rich i am in your brain in, yeah mm-hmm. i grew up in a Town. Well, I grew up in Phoenix, Arizona, but oh, specifically oh, okay. in a, in a part that was like yeah, incredibly <laughs> white. Um, so I was one of like five Asians in my high school. My high school had like 5,000 people. So yeah. it was like percentage right. wise, right? Um, <laughs> to the point where like when we did senior superlatives, um, the people who were nominated for like most likely to be a billionaire were like me and the other four oh Asians my God. just because we were Asian, oh. which was very Are you flattering serious? actually. That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, oh I, I didn't have a big enough pool of other Asians or like yeah, Asian yeah, yeah, men yeah, to like yeah. discern their scent differences. So this is oh. fascinating. Totally. I mean, it was very of a time, so yeah. I don't even know well, now. Did you grow up with a lot of Asian men around you? Like you could kind of like put together research on their scents? It your, was sample just, st- your sample mm-hmm. size is large. It was definitely like what the Asian Asian guy scene was like, you know, mm. the Asian, of which I wasn't really that involved in it. I was sort of like on the periphery. Uh, so that sort of, again, it was a, a very 90s moment. But even, but now I've like, my, I got a nephew, you know, he's like 15. Uh, he, you know, he's, he's a uh, mixed race. He's like half Korean, half uh, not Korean. And he is into sense as well. Mm. And I don't know if that's like just an extension of like streetwear, wow. you know, cause he has like a Burberry scent. It smells Whoa. great. I know. And it's super expensive. I don't uh, have a Burberry scent. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and I'm double his age. But it's like, it's 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 funny because, you know, he's really into into style and he's got like a lot of sneakers and stuff like that. But he dresses like a very, you know, kind of like a, like, I would say like an upscale teenager. A lot of sweats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, t-shirts. Yeah. He hates wearing jackets. Teenagers don't like wearing jackets. I know. It doesn't matter how cold it is. But he will also put on fancy Burberry scent. Wow. So I don't know how to... Like unpack that, or if like maybe what? he's just smelly. <laughs> <laughs> like he's a teenager, and he's like, oh my god, and he's just spraying himself. Wait, but also don't don't most Asians have that gene that like oh. like I ha- I think I that have it because I don't, you don't smell my sweat doesn't really smell. Like I was anything. just oh. about to say that I was like it shouldn't be the Asian men wearing those scents. It should have been the white. Mm. It should have been the white men. There's Yo. nothing to cover up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we smell great. Exactly. Naturally. Like what are they? What are you doing spending money on that? It should really be the white people. That's so amazing. Um, uh, okay, well, I thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> of course. I'm so glad uh, we got to go down memory lane, you know, how, <laughs> how memories and scents are related. Anyways, um, we can get started with uh, uh, what kind of Asian were you this week? Do you want to you wanna start? Do you want me to start? Yeah, I can go, I guess. Okay, yeah. Jenny. I always go second, I feel like. Yeah, what kind of Asian were you this week? I was a spiral Asian. Spiral Asian. This is a callback to when I first started the podcast. I felt like it was like, I would be like, I'm spiraling this week. I'm not spiraling this week. That was kind of like generally it. And then I kind of moved on from that language. Yeah, I moved on and we got into the more nuances. But you know what? Squarely, I was a spiral Asian this week. Okay, okay. Basically, it... It all happened because I had one bad improv show. Yep. Which yep. is yep. 
wild. Yep. And I know that logically. Um, I had one good improv show, mm-hmm. and then I went to a second show that night, had one bad improv show, cried on the phone with my friend, oh, you see? <laughs> and full spiraled. Um, um, and yeah. I think what I'm learning is don't do improv <laughs> don't do improv improv is stupid so dumb um it is stupid <laughs> it is really dumb yeah. um but i basically i think i took a hit to my confidence you know like i was like oh I sh- why am i even doing this why do i even attempt to do comedy and it like unspooled a thread yeah. of like everything That's all and it i takes. i know and i realized that like i equate so I'm immediately jumping into this, but I square I equate my self worth and my um, how much I deserve to be loved to achieving. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, me. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't understand how you don't do that. <laughs> yeah. What, yeah. What the fuck Why else are you is presenting there? that? Yeah. What like, the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah the a, way you guys were like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. What are you supposed to derive Let's your, move on. your, your self worth from non achievements? <laughs> yeah, what else is there? <laughs> <laughs> the way that it didn't Somebody land, went to Vassar. it didn't land at all. You guys were like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then we're like, should we just move on to Mike's week? No, no, go ahead. Okay, so but yeah, I but just wait, like, what, was your show bad because you didn't do as well as you wanted, or was the show weird or something like that? It was like I sat in for someone. It was a three person group that I'm not usually in. So uh, I sat in, and they're my friends, and I felt that they did a good job, and I felt that I didn't, I didn't pull my weight. It's so hard though to come in like that, you know. Yeah, yeah but it's also like me yeah, feeling like no. I need to do better, right. and I also am trying to not do less improv because I'm trying to write more anyway. Sure. So I'm like, I keep saying I'm semi-retired, mm. but then like if I get asked by friends who I like performing with, I'm like, yeah, give it a shot. Do a also, show. Didn't you say this is the second show of the night? That yeah, you, so you like it was exhausted the same a ton of material in the first show. Kind it's of. Like, yeah, use yeah. Up your improv meter. But I just wasn't being confident. Like part of improv is just like being confident, like not overthinking. And I was overthinking. Oh. Shit. The other thing is, I performed in a show where it was like the next generation of improviser- improvisers, and they were really great. Mm. And I was like, oh, I'm like aging out. Like I'm oh, not. Per- I'm not. Yeah? Per- I'm just. Oh, that not, I'm not aging out, but I'm like. I'm, I've lost my desire. Like, in my 20s, I was all about it. I was, like, practicing constantly. Yeah, yeah, like, I yeah. was part of, like, you know, a house team where I was, like, guaranteed. You know, it's like I worked hard. I auditioned. I made teams. Right. Um, and then the pandemic happened, and I was like, I'm getting too old for this. Yeah. Like, it's a fleeting thing. Improv specifically, because stand-up, you get to, like, write and have material that's yours. Improv is fleeting. It's right. one night. You see what you see. Whatever. Yeah. And so I learned that. So I was like, I need to phase out and, like, focus on writing. So it's like me growing is yeah. getting worse at improv, right? Because I'm actively right. not spending time doing it. Yeah. But then I see younger people being good at it, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm bad. Like I'm not funny. So that unspooled thread was like, I'm not funny. I'm like attempting comedy for some reason. Yeah. Um, I did a horrible show. My friends are gonna hate me. My friends I did the show with, like they're gonna hate me. They're never gonna want to do a show with me yeah, ever yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to be my friends anymore. Oh wow. So then that spiraled into no wonder I'm single. No one oh, will no. date me. <laughs> We no, jumped like, the chasm. No, what, we jumped it. Yeah, and then Classic I was like, spiral. and then I'm like, <laughs> Classic spiral. It's a, it, it becomes everything. Wow. It's like, oh my god, I don't have a job right now. I'm not like, um, you know, I'm not like gonna buy an apartment anytime soon. Like, I'm not even making a lot of money. Like, yeah, there's yeah, nothing yeah. happening in my life. I'm like floating and being like worthless. Yeah, so the ancestors are not proud. Yeah, oh. that's where it ends, right? Oh. You're just like, I'm a piece of shit. Like, no one likes me. Like, From I'm, one improv show yeah. all the way. I'm a and piece it's of not, shit. <laughs> the ancestors are so mad. Exactly, and it's not I'm conscious. I'm so sorry. I, I can't tell you it's, like, really conscious like that. Like, I can't tell you it's yeah, actually, like, yeah, yeah. A to B to C to D or yeah. whatever. But it's, like, an overall feeling of, like, I'm not worthy of anything. Oh, God, yeah. Like, nothing good will ever happen in my life. Yes. And yeah. it's because I had one bad improv show. Right, right. Because your 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 one yes and didn't land. Right. Exactly. Now, My one choice I made was didn't land. Now, now you're going to be a spinster for the rest yeah. of your life. For a show that, that had it. 10 people in the audience. It's just so <laughs> wild how it like goes like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I like full spiraled on Sunday. I have since recovered. Yep. And my recovery time is getting shorter and shorter, which is beautiful. Nice. But I did, it's been a while since I've had like, that's not true. The last two months have been precarious, but um, this week was the first time I was like, oh, a good old fashioned spiral. I used to have these much more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is your um, uh, like unspiraling technique? 
you have like a thing you do to kind of get out, pull yourself out of it? Yeah, I've, okay, it's to um, not force myself to be productive the next day. Oh. Because I think like, I was like, oh, let yourself just like consume. Mm. So this this week I've been really focused on just like being inspired again. Okay. So I'm like trying to watch things that are outside of my norm. Yeah, what have you consumed? I'm watching The Curse, <laughs> which is the new, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Para- it's on Paramount Plus slash Showtime. Uh, the new Nathan Fielder Safdie Brothers or show. Yeah, yeah. Really weird. Not my vibe. Forcing myself to watch it. Oh, wow. I've been watching it too. It is unexpected. Yes. It's like yeah. not the easy vibe to is watch. Like dread. Yes. <laughs> like humiliating. Yeah, like it's yeah. just like makes your stomach churn. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So I've been watching stuff like that. Like I'm watching The Morning Show right now, which is oh, wow. so bad. But I've I'm just like, that. it's not good. Um, <laughs> but it's a drama, you know, drama or whatever. Like I'm just trying to like watch things that outside of my norm. I went to friend of the pod Charlene Kay's um, oh, yeah, there you show go. like I'm just trying to go see my friends perform that's cool I think it's good always to immerse yourself in culture and that kind of exactly thing. and just feel like okay there's like people are creating things yeah mm-hmm. and just be like I don't have to be I don't need to create all the time right I just but like let me be inspired by art around me right mm-hmm. yeah um, and then I've also just been so that's one and then the second thing is like I'm just spending time with friends yo because then yes. they're like oh my oh they like me even if I have one bad improv show that is so crazy to That's say, but it is decide. like I am working on that to be like, oh, they like me even if I do have have a bad show. No, right. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we all have a group text going where we're like, did you see Jenny's improv? Show? <laughs> we're all going to ghost her right now, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. We're and all going to ghost her. And it. nobody respond. <laughs> and no one invited her to the barbecue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's like so crazy. But it's like that. It's like spending time being like, oh, it's hard. I, I still yeah. have community even if I don't do well at comedy. It's it's hard because. Yeah. Uh, you know, you want to do well, especially in front of your peers. You know, like it's it's even le- it's less sometimes about the audience. Of course, you want to do well in front of them, but they're yeah. strangers, right? Yeah. It's not like yeah, it is what it is. But like to do it to do poorly in front of your friends, you know, sometimes is like the one where it, uh, it, it like, hurts more. Yeah, because mm-hmm. and you can tell when you did bad and then they can tell when you and then you you're like all not looking at each other yeah <laughs> for me since it's a group effort yeah because stand up is alone you're alone right so it's like when you do bad you know it's like you're not looking at each other yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, that yeah. was all me yeah in improv i say sorry a million times uh, i am so sorry about that move like i wish i did something else whatever like i'm just like constantly apologetic and my friends are like it's fine. I had fun and it wasn't that bad. And yeah. I'm just, I'm like, it was that bad. Oh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, also your perception is your perception. Yeah. No one's reality sure, is the same. Sure. So I think in my head it was like horrible and they're right. like, it's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like an underground Sunday night show. It doesn't matter. But to me, it was like that mattered a lot. To mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Amy, can you, have you been spiraling recently? I mean, I totally relate a thousand percent to these. Spirals. Well, yeah, the way you both, you were like, uh huh, and that's normal. And <laughs> what's funny is that like I I tried a white therapist for a while, and she oh. would like say oh. things like like I would describe the spiral, and she'd be like, hmm, you know, like it probably goes back to like because of like you wanting to test well in class and like feeling like, you know, like an 80% was like, do you think that's right? Like, is it? Yeah. And I was like, oh, kind of. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess it's like what exam, the fuck? exam based. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then I, when I switched to an Asian therapist, I would like describe the spiral and she'd be like, yeah. 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 <laughs> like she, yeah we don't need to think about yeah, the It's just so you in you. It. Totally. Yeah. Like there's no reason for yeah. it. It's just kind of how it, it works. Yeah. Um, I feel like I have spiraled a bit in this last month because I turned 30. Oh, and wow, well that, you know, The 30 spiral. You know, 30 the 30 spiral. spiral oh. Like, you guys, yeah, I yeah. don't need to describe it. And yeah. the 30 Asian spiral is like a different. Yeah. Ooh, it hits, it hits different. different. It's a different It hits different, thing, different right? flavor. It's like a little like tornado. That, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like goes upward instead yeah, of the other totally. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I think the positive of that is that like Asians don't look their age at all. So I, <laughs> I'm just going to start saying I'm 23. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think that's fine. Yeah, that's my way out of the spiral. Uh-huh. Just to lie. For my <laughs> that's oh lie self delusion is yeah. a key key precisely ingredient. my thing my way of not when I my age the age spiral mm-hmm. now we're talking about a different flavor of spiral mm-hmm. which is the age spiral where you like are like okay I'm this age and then you think about all the things you thought you would accomplish mm-hmm. or what your parents were doing at mm-hmm. this time the ancestors yeah again. exactly <laughs> um, like they're you know. like winning wars yeah exactly <laughs> oh I was like I was like looking at pictures of my great grandma and she had like eight children oh shit by the time she was like 30 something you know like 30 right. something and I was like hmm <laughs> yeah anyways um but the age spiral thing it's that I've gotten hotter 
<laughs> with age. You know, and that is truly I do a beautiful thing about being Asian. <laughs> yeah, it truly is, right? Because you also like buy more expensive skincare. Yeah. Like your you fancy know. fragrances. Exactly. Fragrances. Fly to Paris just to buy a Fly perfume. Paris. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Our and ancestors yeah. would be pretty fucking proud of that. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. Shit, you went to Paris and you so just to buy some scents? <laughs> oh my god. Me? There's like a hilarious amazing like external internal thing where like internally you're like oh I'm this hurricane like I'm this girl. Mm. Externally you're just like glowing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. A hundred percent. And I will say yeah that is also a big thing external versus internal because mm-hmm. I'm a mess in here. In, in here I'm a mess yo like but yeah outside I'm like I feel like everyone's always like you got it together I'm like I mm-hmm. guess I know people will say that to uh, people sometimes and, and like you know someone said that to me once and I was like are you serious? Yeah. Mm. You know what's mm. going on here? I know I look dope. Yeah. <laughs> Not like my, cause like my, uh, I'm like, I take pictures of my fits and I'm like, yeah, this is fire. Yeah. And, and then also you're my, not, and also you're not crying. Pu- like you're not right. like, you know, like, I guess I talk about it constantly here, but this is the only place I talk about it constantly. You know what I mean? Like I'm not like going out there always being a mess. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right. But like, you know, yeah. Cause you know, your interaction with someone is usually you've, prepared yourself yeah. to, to be seen in public. Mm-hmm. You know, you're, you're going controlling, out. You're controlling, yeah, you're controlling. Yeah, you have like, control yeah, yeah. the narrative. It's, it's yeah. the like Asian concept of like having face or like not oh. losing exactly. face too, right? So like it's unconscious that we go out and we're like, don't like cry yeah. randomly on the street. Exactly, right? though I did do that twice. That oh is, yeah. shit. But even when that happens, like you, you see an Asian girl crying, you're like, oh, she looks elegant. Yeah. Yeah. Like put together. So, so cinematic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, yeah. you know? Yeah, so that's yeah, very, my week. Very Wong Kar Wai. <laughs> yeah, it's very, and that's what I was saying. I was like, this is very Wong Kar Wai. Very me. Wong Kar Wai. Yeah, I'm like filming myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very, there's you like know? red lighting. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. there's a little bit of I'm rain. I'm like suddenly in traditional like Asian clothing. Oh my and God. I'm like, this is yeah, very Wong Kar yeah, Wai. You don't know what year it is? Yeah. You know, like, what is this? this is the future? Is this the past? This is awesome. Yeah, dude. But yeah. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> so it's December 9th as I'm recording this right now, and I have tons of gift. Uh, getting to to still do. I've got tons of browsers open with all these carts open and I just need to start shopping, man. So like I got gifts I need to get for my niece, my nephews, my my wife, my parents, and my son of course. I've um, he's getting like five trains. Is that too many? I have no idea. Uh, whatever you do for others though this season, don't forget to give yourself a gift, whether it's starting therapy, going easy on yourself during tough times or just treating yourself to a me day, remember to give yourself some love. Uh, I've used therapy. I use it all the time and the things I've learned from therapy to help me figure out what are my priorities, what I care about, and just give myself a little bit of breathing space. If you're thinking of starting therapy, think about giving BetterHelp a try. It's all online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Uh, Just fill out a brief questionnaire and you'll get matched with a licensed therapist. You can always switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash Asian today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Asian. At least I've recovered. That's like you. I, this the timing of this is yeah. like almost a full week, uh, so I've recovered. Okay. okay, but it was precarious on well, Monday. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Well, thank you for sharing that. That of was really good. That was great. Yeah. Um, what kind of Asian were you this week, Mike? I was a. Um, let's see here. I wrote it down. Used camera gear Asian. Okay, you've become a real gear. I like, love gear. Every week, it's yeah. a gear. I always thing. talk about gear. Yeah. I love talking about it. Okay, get into um, it. I don't know if this is true. I've read once that men like technology because it's something we can dominate. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but I, I do. I am very interested in stuff and uh, technology and, mm. and gear, especially like creating gear, you know, like sound stuff and cameras and shit. Are you also a person who like follows like the iPhone, like um, keynotes and things like that? Less for iPhone, more for like cameras. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, l- iPhone, I think is like, it's, it, it's like a it's like a tool right mm-hmm. it's not like to me a sexy thing mm-hmm. you know yeah. whereas like a so i had like a, a fujifilm xt3 which is like a mirrorless camera so it's like a it's not it's not like a professional level camera but yeah. it's a camera that's like nice mm-hmm. you know you can use it to like do stuff and be creative and shit mm-hmm. it's got like you know i learned how to you know i've had cameras over the years and like i learned how to you know manipulate it with like you know make it manual and have different lenses and it's, it's nice you know I've, I've put money into it and um, 
I never ever shot with it. I, it's just like a little too big to carry around. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then if I, even if I did, when I did used to shoot with it more, I'd have like hundreds of photos and I'd have to export them, put them on my computer, edit them, and then like organize them, which yeah. is like not fun at all. Like yeah. I, I hate doing that. Yeah. And so it just would sit and, you know, it's an expensive camera and uh-huh. had lenses and all this stuff with it. And I was sitting there and I was like, I don't use this. I need to turn this into something I can use. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, the podcast, I use, uh, we use our phones to yeah. record. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it would be nice to have a dedicated camera that, that does this. And so I was looking online and like, you know, the fun part of any of these things is research, right? Of so course. <laughs> researching like a motherfucker. And there's like a website for everything. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah, dude. I'd, I'd be logging in. Okay. Yeah. I'm logging in. <laughs> I'm reading like posts. You're I'm, clicking through I'm affiliate clicking through links. Affiliate yeah. links. Yeah. 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 I'm loading yeah. things on my Amazon cart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like doing all this stuff. And uh, I, long story short, I go to Adorama, which is like in New York City, there's like two big camera stores, B&H and Adorama. Mm-hmm. And... It is like, you know, it is a store packed to the gills, right? And, and it, it sells everything. It's like from your most entry level point and shoot up to and through like a professional $50,000 camera mm-hmm. for like shooting a movie and everything in between. Mm-hmm. And I go in there and I have all my stuff and I brought my family with me and like <laughs> I go into the like stand in the line and the guy's like, okay, it's going to cost you. So no, we can we can buy it for this much. You can trade it in, so you can. I will buy it for this much, and then I was like, okay, cool. So then I go and look at these other cameras, and I decided to buy this this camera. It's uh, it hasn't come yet, but it's a it's purposely built for content creators. So it's like a little handle, <laughs> and it has a little it. camera. Got it. And it's very nice. It's like I I got turned on to it from uh, my other friend who makes content. He's like a comedian content creator yeah. slash MMA guy. <laughs> so <laughs> he, he makes content and um, it looks really good and it's very flexible. It does a lot of stuff. Very small. It's like, you know, it's not, um, you know, for like shooting a beautiful still photo. It's yeah. like for like content. And I was looking at some other things for also for content. It was like this other Sony camera it's purposely built for content. Yeah. And I was sitting there and, um, you know, I, I buy the, the camera and I, I order it. It has to come in. And I felt... I I don't know if you guys feel like this. Sometimes when I buy something, I just get like horny because I bought it. <laughs> like I was yes. like, yes, I'm horny because I bought this thing. Even though you so don't have the thing. Cool. Yeah. It, well, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. So, so this is prior to it even arriving. No. So, so here's the thing. When I bought this camera, I knew it was a smart choice because I wasn't horny at all. <laughs> I was like, this is something. This is like a tool. It's like it's when a I function. Bought, yeah. It's like when I buy an iPhone. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah, this yeah, is yeah. not like. Maybe the first iPhone I ever had was like, yeah, I'm horny now, you know. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. but the the iPhones now, I'm just like, it's the next tool I right. need. I have to right, have one. Right. Yeah. You or know? my other tool broke. So yeah, I my other to, tool broke. Yeah. I cracked it or whatever, dropped yeah. it in the toilet, and I need a new one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's how I feel with this one. And so it's on the one hand, rationally speaking, I will use this, and it is good that I will use it. But on the other hand, I felt very like sad because I've sort of moved away symbolically from like I'm an artist mm-hmm. to I'm a content guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like the, the camera, like this camera, again, I never use it, but it did have the flexibility for me to like, you know, if you want to use it to make a, a, a nice music video, I don't know, something like that, right? It had more flexibility because it was designed for that. Yeah. You know? This other one is going to be much easier to do what I really needed to do, which is like capture our dumb podcast yeah you know um so i just like it was like a weird kind of like oh i'm i guess i'm not like this kind of creator i'm this kind of creator yeah you know Mm -hmm. and and on the one hand it felt good because it was like it was an honest moment like this is who i am yeah but on the other hand, I was like, oh, I'm not like an, an artist, I guess. You know, yeah. I don't know. It was weird. It's like it was the not, you're not the romanticized version yes, of yourself. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. You are who you are. Yeah. So it was yeah. like, it was, it went back and I went back and forth and stuff of like that and on it. And, you know, it, it was, so that was my used camera Asian-ness. It was, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It was so interesting. So it was good and bad. It was good and bad. It was good, again, because it was like, this is who I am. But it was also, you know, kind of bittersweet. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I had, um... I, I met up with my, I don't know if he's been on the podcast, but I met up with someone who I met through Asian prom. Uh-huh. And he's like, a, he, um, he writes for the infatuation ed- editorial. And he was, I was talking about how I hate 
being considered a because I consider myself a comedian, right? But I, I people see me as a content creator. Oh yes, yes, yes. You know, Tell like me about this. because because I do comedy. I put on the internet sometimes, mm -hmm. um, but I don't do it that much. And I don't, you know what I mean? Like it's yeah, not yeah. like I'm. I don't know. I don't. That's not my goal. Is to be. A, I don't want to be a content creator. In fact, yeah, yeah, I try yeah. not to post a lot because I don't want to be a content right, creator. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I want to be a comedy, per, like a comedy writer. Yeah. Um, but he was like, yeah, even at where like. He, at the infatuation, they're trying to call all the writers content creators oh. or like creators of content or like we're you have to create content. He was like, what? Like huh. he's like talking about how like everything is now considered content, right? Right. Or right, like right, they're right. like reframing things yeah, as yeah, content, yeah. like things to be consumed. Right. And it's like no, but we squarely are like doing editorial. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh, that's wow. so messed up. Huh. Like I hate that. Like I yeah. hate this world. But like they want everyone wants like bite-sized things yes. to consume mm -hmm. on the internet and like right. ugh, then everything is content right yeah. right right a right. movie could be content that i'm streaming online it like, is it is right, content right. in a way i you know. know so then i'm like what but what is that yeah like i don't know i don't like that i have many 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 on the toilet thoughts about this you know i think about <laughs> it all the time when i'm on the toilet where i'm like that but you know uh amy you you're a writer slash content creator now. <laughs> Everyone, yeah, yeah you're, you're a content creator. We're, all, we're a room of content creators. We're a room of yeah. content creators. I do, well, as you were saying, you, you know, you felt sad about sort of being a content creator. I didn't think of you as that when you, like, yeah. introduced yourself to me and you were like, I want to, like, can you come on this podcast? And when I, like, read about you guys and listened to your episodes, I was like, oh, these are comedians. Like, right. That's I nice. didn't think of you as content creators, <laughs> right? But, like, there's also something linguistically so icky about mm. the term. Like, why are we using it right. in general? Why are people, like, happy to in introduce themselves as content creators? That's weird to me. Yeah. Uh. Um, but it reminds me of like when I was little and I uh, would hear about like service industry workers, which is really like restaurant people and like I, I think oh. hotel people. But yeah. I, I was always so confused because like, isn't every job a service? Oh. Like, that is why, so is, real. Like, why yeah. is this weird thing happening where we're like dividing this? Yeah. So, anyway, this is, yeah, to your question, like, is a writer a content creator? Like, mm. yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess right? we all yeah. are, but like the term is, like it's like when people are using terms derogatorily and also non derogatorily, and you have to like specify in parentheses yeah. like yeah, which yeah, one yeah, it is. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She's a content creator, derogatory. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's just so real. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's just you're right. It's just a blanket statement. So random of a of a anyone could be a con anything right. and anyone is a content anything. creator. Yeah. 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 Even more ominous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it can be not living. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that could be a content creator. Like a yeah. rock. Yeah. This rock is making such fire content. Yeah, um, exactly. Totally. Yeah. I, and totally. like, you know, kind of to your point, it's uh, I, maybe it's not even like it's a bad thing. You know, like mm -hmm. I, I do make content. Yeah. You know, I do. Um, and I, I'm not a, I'm not one of those content creators where I'm like doing a prank on someone in the or, or like dancing in public. You know, one of those yeah. guys. Um, you know, but uh I do make stuff and I put it out there and I uh, do want to have more influence in that world. Mm -hmm. So it's like, maybe it's like, I gotta like take what I've learned from comedy as far as like the craft and like turn it into, you know, like apply that to content creators because like, you know, there's content creators who are comedians and they're real comedians <laughs> and there's and there's content creators uh, derogatorily yeah. speaking, <laughs> who are like comedians, and yeah. you're like, eh, you're you didn't come up in the yeah. school of hard knocks. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. so it's like I don't know. Again, it's like I'm, I was wrestling with it. I didn't know what it is, and I don't know. It was, um, yeah. I, I think I think I'm just trying to like shift my mind because I've been doing a certain creative thing for so long. You know, like don't call me a comedian. You know, it, it, does, does that sound like maybe? like a cool subversive thing to say. I'm not a comedian, you know? <laughs> I'm a rapper. <laughs> I'm you, a rapper now. If you did a hard right into rapping, <laughs> that would actually be the funniest thing. <laughs> <laughs> just did you see Mike lately? He's just, yeah, he's, he's rapping. Just, oh, he's like <laughs> rapping like, and and for real. And and he sucks. Yeah, at he's it. so bad. so bad. But he thinks he's good. <laughs> he thinks he's so good. He's always rapping. <laughs> I don't know. You know. That I mean, so who funny. knows? So, anyways, I'm a content creator now. Yeah, you're don't a call content me creator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, um, uh, Amy, what kind of Asian were you this week? I was a. I, I was just talking about this with you guys. I was a Charles Melton um, <laughs> meltdown Asian, yes. um, which means essentially that I was just absorbed in this <clears throat> this 
Asian himbo man and like <laughs> like thinking about it on like a way too intellectual level. Like Charles Melton, for people who don't know, is like a he's half Korean, half white, and he's in May December, the new Todd Haynes movie. He was also in like Riverdale, Riverdale and yeah. a couple of other things where he just played the straight up like himbo character, yeah. like Asian jock, like no thoughts, just vibes. Yeah. That kind of thing. <laughs> um, but in this movie, he becomes like a, a person who is that, but also has like a lot of interiority. Um, okay. And you're kind of like going into the movie with the assumption that he is a, an Asian himbo and okay. you feel bad that you've judged him by the end of it. Oh. He's got all this interiority. So then I started thinking about like Asian jocks as a whole. Yeah. And like that I felt bad that I had judged all the Asian jocks around me. Yeah. Jocks, um, jocks or himbos? Jocks or himbos. Or, or him. Yeah, uh, or either one. Well, What's is there the a difference? distinction? Maybe, maybe there is. Well, I feel like maybe do you mean like sportsy guys or are you talking about like I guess they're different. It, you know, yeah. uh, dude thoughts. When I think about himbos, I think about like Ken and the Barbie movie, yeah. uh, like kind of like bro y and like yeah, muscly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, like, oh, like I'm a man cave. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. not necessarily sports. Okay, okay, like, okay. Yeah, I guess I'm using those two. Because jocks, I guess jocks could be a little bit more going on in the brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not, so like, but yeah, kind of right. but you're derogatory. Right. Derogatory, <laughs> yeah. More going on the brain, derogatory. Yeah. 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 yeah, but like so. Okay, so more con- like like bros, Asian bros. Yeah, Asian bros. Asian bros. That's okay. himbos, That's right? Bros, bros. Yeah. yeah, bros, yeah, yeah. himbos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I himbros. Guess- Himbro. <laughs> well, hold on here. So then, an advanced evolution. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I think of himbos as being also uh, there's a sexual promiscuity element. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. Is that true? I, I think that probably is true. It's, well, with with someone with Charles Melton's jaw, like I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Inevitably, his assume. jawline looks AI generated. It's, 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 like, it's crazy. Like a, it's like a right angle. Yeah. Oh my totally. God. I'm looking yeah, at it's, him right it's now. It's like someone sh- contoured so intense. Do you know what I mean? Like everything's contoured it looks mm-hmm. like, but it's just natural. He's like a square to the point where you think he's like a in the Lego movie. Yeah. Like he's just, <laughs> a, a 100%. Square. You know those Lego movie guys, they're just so squared off. I can't believe it. I'm like, we're looking at his face right now. Yeah, we're looking he at his is, picture. He he's is handsome very, Squidward. Very handsome. He is handsome, handsome Squidward. Squidward is a yeah. great way to He's really it. good at uh, the smile on one side. Yeah. Oh, he's really good at that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. so, so annoying handsome. to hang out with him. I bet you he's really nice. Uh, anyway, so yeah. um, oh, sorry, we got distracted. Yeah, we distracted. Okay, no, so no, no, that's basically but, it. Okay, like, so <laughs> were you? Okay, so you, you, we were talking about Asian himbos. Mm-hmm. Can we list a couple right now? I don't know. I feel like. Well, okay. Is Henry Golden kind of in that category? I think he. I think he's a little getting a little older now, but I think he could have been before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um. He's. A, I feel like a little. You know, too soft. Yeah, like refined. Like he's not it's like. Just he has a British accent. I guess like I think of, I gotta. For me, the himbo test has to be: Would he be in an Abercrombie ad? That's oh. my. That's what that's I. Good, I that's oh, what's test. his name from Beef? The brother, right. Young Mazzino. Yes. Yeah. 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 Dude, yeah that's that him. That sure. character was a himbo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Um, Right, so I guess I've been kind of thinking about this like portrayal of like Asian men or often half Asian men, as is the case with Charles and Henry, yeah. as like sort of like dumb, like broy, like him yeah. broy types. Yeah. And oh. it's like at once like a super subversive thing because you're like, oh, you know, Asian men are like math oriented, like right. nerds. Yeah. Right. So this is the total, like, it's like, how did they get there? How did they become the antithesis? Yeah. And at once it's also kind of like rude to. I don't know to have this stereotype it's like so far out of the way that it's also offensive yeah like, yeah yeah like the calculator carrying Asian is like equally offensive as the like the jockish himbo, like yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but anyway so I've just been thinking about this portrayal of like Asian masculinity in these two poles for the last week whoa um, I don't know like who are you guys' favorite Asian um, actors and like where in the spectrum do they fall gosh oh I love Steven Yoon Oh yeah. yeah, he's squarely in the middle. middle. Right? He's, he's in like the middle. Both intellectual and yeah. like extremely hot. But I think that's why I think that's why I like it. whenever yeah. anyone is like smart and cute. Yeah, and can do comedy and drama. Yeah, that's like yeah. the, f- <laughs> the, X in the middle. right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you seen him? Uh, have you seen him in that movie Burning? No. The the Korean yeah. movie Burning. No. Is oh it good? Yeah. Is he? Is it really good? Or is I he liked really it. Good? It's it's. I think he's good in it. It's a very it's um, like a somber, very somber, movie. very slow. He's oh. not like the main character, but in it he plays a. It's and it's interesting because this is like a Korean movie, mm-hmm. and so um, I don't know if they did this on purpose. I, I imagine they did, but like 
he plays someone who's like a wealthy Korean American person. Got it. And so I think the character is supposed to capture this thing where it's like he's very sophisticated. He's wealthy. Yeah. And uh, and they contrast it with the Korean lead mm-hmm. who's like a working class guy. Got it. You know? Mm-hmm. And so, um, yeah, I think like for, it, anyways, but it's Stephen Young, I think he, he can... I mean, he's very talented, so he can kind of dial it up or down. Yeah, you know, like mm-hmm. he can play. Who wouldn't want to? He can play like wealthy, but also like blue collar. Right, exactly. Yeah, which yeah. is pretty amazing. Right, and like you know, he he. I think uh, he made blue collar hot. You know, with he did. His, you know, <laughs> he did. Like uh, you know, like everyone's like, oh, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. Everybody started eating more Burger King chicken Burger, sandwiches. Yeah, you yeah. Know? it's like damn. And tank tops, tank tops. Exactly, just mm-hmm. like uh, just stealing from your best friend. Yeah. And, and uh, and trying to impress your your family. What yeah. what Korean guy? Who doesn't want to fuck him? Yeah. You know. I think he's mm-hmm. very good. Also, Dev Patel is my other one. Ooh, Dev. Dev yeah. See, but neither of them could play himbos because you're you can, right. You can see in their eyes. Yeah. That they're like too smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not himbos. <laughs> neither of them are himbos for sure. Yeah. Also, yeah. himbos are not my type. So. Yeah. I mean, I like Simu. Simu. So. Simu's Simu. kind of a himbo. He's, he's a definitely himbo. there. Simu's a himbo. I mean, for even sure. in the movie, you know, he's like, yeah, he's always taking a shirt off. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like would the dude, <clears throat> would the dude volunteer to take a shirt yeah. off? Yeah, even if the role didn't require that, it. Yeah, it's like that is him. <laughs> you're like him. you're like actually we would prefer you keep your shirt on. And he'll be like, no, I don't think Ooh, so. I don't think the character would here. do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know you're you know this is an animated movie, so we don't actually see yeah. your face or body. Yeah, no, no, I just no, need no, to take no. my shirt but off. But it's guys. part of this <laughs> process. Yeah, I mean if I looked like him and had his shirtlessness then also we'd be doing this podcast shirtless right the fuck now <laughs> instead i have a vest on you have so many layers so on. many layers yeah, on, yeah. okay yeah, yeah. yeah okay that's those are pretty good it's you know it's interesting because i feel well, wait who are yours oh yeah i i i'm with you that steven is probably like yeah the, he's the like most right there quintessential yeah like asian crush right Ooh. character but and he's a dad whole, now too yeah oh, yeah oh. on the whole i feel like i'm like my favorite like actors are not asian which like obviously sends me into spirals <laughs> I'm like what does that say yeah. right like um like I like like a Robert Pattinson type who's like kind of tortured um oh. but like that's, that's rare in like Asian yeah. actors um no. to have like all of what, those do you have another example other than Robert Pattinson mm, like a like a Killian Murphy got is, it is like oh. sort of I'm Robert getting adjacent a, getting you know a, yeah I'm getting a lock onto the type yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely okay. like yeah. you see it in the sniper like yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, it's like they're all kind of like pale. Yeah. Uh, sickly they're, They looking. will never do social media. You know what I mean? Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. They're like, I'm an artist. Yeah. They, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. they stop doing movies for like years, years at a time yeah, to like, like yeah, learn yeah. how to make shoes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, know? you get the feeling that like one straight insult would seriously wound them. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. that's the type. Got it. Got yeah, it. Yeah. Um, like, uh, at a younger, uh, uh, like a younger Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. You know yeah, yeah. I mean, that yeah. guy's hot as shit. But you could tell, mm-hmm. like, you would never be able to joke with him like if you yeah, were like exactly. making a joke you'd yeah. be like what does that mean what what do you why right yeah yeah oh, you know like he's so serious yeah you know? to that to that same point like in that same sniper rifle <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, view is also jeremy strong who's like oh yeah. he's like you would never be able to crack a joke like yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but like it's like yeah he's like he's like Mm-hmm. What, like what character would say that? Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. I don't what, get what's it. going on? Yeah. yeah, like breaking you down like that. Well, there was, yeah. there was right, that article right. right where he like was talking and everybody was like couldn't tell if he was joking. Or he was so <laughs> yeah. serious. It was like okay, his what? entire persona. His yeah. entire yeah. persona is like where does the character stop and he starts? Exactly. You know, you know. That's so interesting because you know we've been we've been on this crazy Asian journey for however long, mm-hmm. and for a while I think it was, you know, we, we only had the the nerdy guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now. There are a bunch of you know uh, the of the himbros out yeah. there, mm-hmm. and I didn't even realize that they were sort of like surfacing, like they were they were they were getting small roles in in Riverdale, and they were yeah, getting yeah, yeah. like the like a guest bit part on this thing, and yeah. like now it's it is kind of like a trope, such mm-hmm. that I don't I didn't even really think that that was a category of mm-hmm. Asian guy actor now, you know, right, and. Right. Um, yeah, Hollywood I, dipped its toe, you know, was like was dipping like, its mm. toe into the Asian himbo yeah. Yeah. like lake. Yeah. What's next? Really? What's yeah. Next? And then they do- dove in this year yeah. with like Barbie and Simu oh, and yeah. then like with um, Charles. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. They're like we're in it now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good friend of the pod, Alexander Hodge is, uh-huh. is you know, he's uh, he's a very, he's he, he I think if you looked at him quickly, you would think he's a himbro. He's a very thoughtful guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's very good. <laughs> I'm sure that 
they're thoughtful. Yeah. Don't you think? They just act. They, they're good at that they're role. They're great yeah. actors. Let's yeah. just yeah. say that. They're great it's actors. all in the, the vacant eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I would love to. I'm like so not a person who would ever actually in real life date a, a himbo. Him, a himbo. Yeah. But I would love to. I, I just don't think I'm hot enough for that. Like, I don't what? think a himbo would come to me. Oh. Or I would like to make too many jokes and then be like, uh? like you know, <laughs> like like it's just like we be like every conversation we be missing each other so much. It would it would. I, I feel like you're overthinking it. You think? Like, I think you just oh, yeah, need to I, smile at them and they'll be like, oh, okay, because I do a pretty girl, literally everything. A pretty girl. And that's it, right? That's the, you, the whole relationship. Have you ever dated a himbo? I yeah. have not. But I have also been himbo curious. Yeah, I'm himbo curious. <laughs> we are himbo curious. I think I think you could. Um, you know what, though? I think I could see one of these guys being very interested in the fact that you do comedy. Mm, you know? Because yeah. I think these guys would not be very funny. No. Naturally. Of not. Yeah. You know, they'd have to work at it. Yeah. And they would be mesmerized that you can make people laugh. They would have laughed so hard at yeah. the improv show you thought they would have been like, They would have been like, babe, you were great. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. the energy like, I need. Yeah. Get into the Porsche. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. You know? <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so amazing. And it's like, you, like conversation's almost impossible, but I'm like, you do yeah. have abs. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah, it, 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 it would, I think he would be so not self-conscious. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. You know, hey, next week we're going to Kenya. Yeah. yeah, get your bag. Yeah. yeah, live life by live, grab life by the horns. horns yeah, mm. live life to the that. fullest. He's always like that, but <laughs> no, <laughs> no irony. Yeah, no Zero irony. irony. Yeah, yeah, doesn't understand like satire. Nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How do I meet? What do they do? What do those people do what for do work? They do? I, I feel like they work in like software sales. Well, like in, yeah, sales. Yeah, there you go. Right. There you go. Oh, God, that's software. That's literally my nightmare person. <laughs> Like not not finance either because finance requires like a certain yeah like I was like it's definitely not yes it's definitely mm-hmm. not finance mm-hmm. that's that I would put more in the jock category yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want like not much going on in there yeah yeah no. just like a harmless hot guy harmless. like I think he he you know like yeah maybe maybe like oil well guy oh. oil what drilling? does that mean I don't know you know oil well guy. he like drills a, yeah, yeah like a, yeah. like a physical how am I gonna find job? that in yeah, New yeah, York yeah. City that's Definitely. what I'm saying you can't I don't know <laughs> I don't mind. maybe upstate you know maybe there's a couple him. there's a there's a himbro village somewhere uh, yeah upstate Probably. yeah 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 people who are like building like remodeling old cathedrals yeah and, um, okay yeah, yeah. oh well, shit well I was like I don't want to do oil because they could be really racist oh that was my thought um, I don't want to get hate crime by a himbo <laughs> I want to be loved by well, an Asian by loved, himbo I want to um, be loved by an Asian himbo yeah <laughs> But That's I feel a great like video. you know if they're if they're like racist, then that means that they've thought enough about race uh, that yeah, they're yeah. not himbos right. anymore. You know? Like you can tell. <laughs> yeah, you've like himbos yeah. have this innocence to them. <laughs> right? They would be yeah. like, I don't really see race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or no, they're, they're not all, even that. Yeah. Not that. They're just gonna be like, what's what? race? What's yeah, they're like, that? I've never yeah. really thought about it before. That I never like thought about people, it before. Uh, Babe, you're so deep. Yeah, exactly. You know? Get in the Porsche. Yeah, get in the Porsche. I love that he has a Porsche. Yeah, he always has a Porsche. Babe, get in the Porsche. Get in the Porsche. I'm taking you out to a great dinner because yeah. you deserve it. You're so funny. So yeah, funny. exactly. <laughs> why don't you That's try out? Want. Hey, why don't you try um try out for SNL? Have you ever thought about trying yeah. out for yeah, SNL? Yeah, it's that guy. <laughs> Do you know what's so funny? Have you heard of this show? It's called um, Saturday Night Live. Oh, you should, you you be should do on. that one. Why don't you call them up? You know what? I'll call some of my friends up. Yeah. And he definitely has a connect to SNL. <laughs> like, without even, like, unironically. Yeah. He's like, no, oh, just call. Yeah. No, like, subver- you know, no, yeah. like, he just yeah. happens to know some producers there. Yeah. I have I met several that. himbos who, like, unironically love Mr. Beast. <laughs> and, and, oh, and that's would, so scary. Would, like, definitely describe him, like, with enthusiasm as a content creator. Creator, non-derogatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be like, oh, he's my favorite yeah. content creator. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's celebratory. Yeah. Enthusiastic, like, would give money to kind right. of thing. Okay. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Well, if you're out there listening to this, but here's the thing, a himbo would never self-identify as a himbo. No, of no. course, yeah. they, they wouldn't understand. No, I can't, I can't yeah. do a call no, out. No, I'm not, I'm not this, yeah. I'm not that. I'm just Blake. Yeah. I'm just Blake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not a himbo. I'm not a I'm himbo. Just I'm just Blake. I'm just Blake. Not getting the Porsche, I'm, babe. Not getting the Porsche, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Blake and standing standing in front of Jenny, that asking is, her if she wants to go to Kenya. That oh. is so real. <laughs> would you go? I would go. I would go. Oh, that's yeah. cute. But I but I would 
be, get so bored. Yeah. Because yeah. it would be impossible to have conversation. No. Right. Right. He right. would, and he would be up early every day. Yeah. Be maybe, maybe you wouldn't yoga. need to have conversation. Maybe. He's like maybe. busy. You yeah. Know? He's I a mean, solo trip. Off yeah. The You'd be like, oh, I, you know, like you're, you're like, oh, I gotta break up with him. I gotta break up with him. And then you know he comes back home from his run. Yeah. And he yeah. takes off his shirt and he's really sweaty and you're just like, okay, All well, right. sex time. Yeah. 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 Fuck. All right. Yeah. Right. Room. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wow. We'll build you a table. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, this babe, I went on a run and I built you a table. <laughs> 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 That's great. That's beautiful. Oh, uh, okay, a well, if there's, dream. if there's any himbros listening. Yeah, or slide. if you know a himbo. If you know any himbros. 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 Yeah. Himbros. If this conversation is, if you're a himbro, but this conversation is helping you, like, realize that you are, yeah. like, self-actualizing, yeah. then maybe this is your moment. This is I your think moment. that a lot of Asian dudes will want to try to do this. You know, I mean, to, to get all racial on you. It's like, <laughs> you want to like react so strongly to the thing that people would perceive you like you know like you were saying with your superlatives <laughs> is like if you how do you react to somebody saying oh you're gonna be you know this whatever scientist or something mm -hmm. it's either you lean into it hard or you like go the all totally the other way and you're hitting the steroids and you're just like <laughs> i need to do the opposite and like work on this oil rig or whatever the fuck it is yeah you know mm -hmm. so i could see that being like a pathway especially for asian american dudes because i feel like yes. asian men have a different kind of masculinity where yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. we're sm chain smoking all the time and whatever mm -hmm. doing something else there's not like a like a him bro thing in asia necessarily like like you think about like the the beautiful a uh, korean men coming out of korea mm -hmm. they're they're not looking like that they're no, looking a little yeah. different yeah you know yeah, what I'm yeah. yeah yeah i know i think i i totally agree and i think that's why like we see charles melton and henry golding as the Asian yeah. Himbros because they are half white, so yeah. they're like, kind oh of, yeah, they're like merging into Yo. that stereotype a little more. Like, yeah. it would be weird if you went to the gym and you saw like a fully like Chinese man who like Himbro'd looked out. like a Himbro. You'd yeah. be like, what happened? What, <laughs> what happened <laughs> there? But like, if someone has like you know like a white dad or whatever, you're like, oh, I kind of ah, see the legacy okay. of like like the a white legacy. guy being like, yeah. you know, like kid, come on a yeah. run with me. And then you, yeah, like you don't really that is real. You can't really see That's it in Asian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite confusing. Mm -hmm. Real. Okay, how about to close us off? What scent do we think Charles Milton has? What do, we, what do you think? What would you put him in? You know, that's a good question. <laughs> well, he's maybe he tried the CK stuff mm. when he was he was younger, but like mm. the thing is now he's like a Hollywood star, right? Yeah. So like he's he has his pick. He can yeah. go find like whatever PR package and like decide for himself. <laughs> right, right. He's probably. But he's like, asking. He's he's like, babe. Help me out with Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. He's like someone like, yeah. 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 I would probably like a Dolce & Gabbana oh. scent, maybe. Oh, he's like, heard of that. I've heard of what that. What is that? Yeah. What is a Dolce? I don't know scent, so well, yeah, I need to. I actually haven't smelled it, but it's like a like a sort of like soft blue bottle with okay. like a sort of like little like feminine like bow aesthetic. So like I see. Maybe that. Okay. He'd be like, oh, it's a pretty a pretty little bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, looks nice. Yeah, yeah, looks yeah. <laughs> probably looks smells good. nice too. Smells nice, yeah, probably. Good. Yeah. 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 I imagine being very musky. Oh, mm, I can see. I can see him. You yeah. mean like naturally that. musky? No, or? I think he like puts scents on that make him mm, look musky. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. would be like he would. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I could see him like. Yeah, he's like I gotta match how I feel. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna go with this leather jacket. Exactly, musk from Rick Owens. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mike, what do you think? He would wear. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it, I think he probably would smell fucking great by himself. Just like, <laughs> he probably smells fucking amazing, yeah. and, and like. And then you're like, what's that? And you're like, he's, he's it's like, just the pheromones. It's, yeah. just, it's just pheromones and head and shoulders. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. And you're like, fuck. That you know? is so yeah. real. He's yeah, like, I yeah, just yeah. use bar soap for everything. You're bar soap right. for yeah. like, how do you wow. smell so yeah. good? Yeah. Dove bar soap. Yeah. That's why it's so hard to break up with it. I know, I know. I'm like, oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I built you another table. I'm like, I have 15 well, I, tables here. Well, I was here. in the shower. I built you another table. Table, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have so many services. Yeah, I was like, I have too oh. many tables now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got too many tables. Oh, my body fat is so low. I hate that. <laughs> I have to oh. eat so much. I have yeah. so, so much. So much muscle. Let's go. Okay. Um, I want... Thank you for coming on the yes, show. Thank I wanted you. to... Uh, the reason why I even came across you was you did a great article about the tabby shoe... Uh, Heist, I guess you would call it. Yeah. Of what uh, year? That went viral. Was that this year? It was this year, right? It was like a couple of months ago. A couple of months yeah, ago. Yeah, it was this year. It was during Fashion Week, so yes. September, October. Right. Yeah. And you did a nice little uh, kind of write-up of it, right? And for our listeners who are normal and don't know what that is, can you <laughs> summarize what was the scandal? 
that happen? Essentially, so tabby shoes are this kind of fittingly Asian-inspired shoe uh, designed by Maison Margiela that has like a cleft toe. So like it's like like a toe, the toe is like set off from the other mm-hmm. shoes. Anyway, these shoes are like $1,000 each. Right. And this girl had her shoes stolen by like a date mm-hmm. um, who just disappeared with her shoes. Mm-hmm. And then she made a TikTok about it and she was like, what the fuck, like someone stole my shoes. <laughs> yeah. And the TikTok vigilantes like found the guy. Wow. And like he returned the shoes in the end. But like it became a whole like viral thing because first of all, it was like so absurd yeah. that like someone would, like a guy would like steal a woman's shoes. And it turns out he gave them to his girlfriend, which, yes. is, which is also weird. Because you're like, but how? Like, why? Like, anyway. Um, <laughs> so he, like, stepped out on his girlfriend. He stepped out on his girlfriend. That's the first thing. Also and then, somehow identified this woman's sh- shoe size. Right, yeah. And, like, was like, oh, these would these are the perfect shoe size for my girlfriend. It was the exact same shoe size. Yeah. Gave them, yeah, and then, like, had to humiliatingly return them. Um, but anyway, the the whole like incident also went viral because like people were being introduced to the shoes for the first time. They was like, uh, these shoes are ugly. Like yeah. these shoes are not yeah. worth a thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, but so, so I wrote about how this whole thing is just like illustrated like a hilarious like sort of in group like tribalism yeah. amongst like the fashion set. Yes. Um, and it turns out in the process of like reporting and fact checking that like our fact checker reached out to the guy oh, who shit. had stolen the, the oh, shoes. Oh my God. And he confessed that his girlfriend broke up with him. Yes, so, no shit. So yeah, Obvi- yeah. She, <laughs> good for her. Good like for her. she could like no longer tolerate any of this. So yeah, a happy God. resolution, you know? Yeah. Like original girl got back her shoes. Uh, this guy was like persecuted by vigilantes. Yeah. <laughs> and the girlfriend was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go buy my own shoes or yeah. maybe find like a, a man who has a Porsche and can right. buy shoes and not steal them for him. No. Exactly. No. Blake would never do that. Blake would not do that. Blake no. is a good guy. Yeah, he would a be, good guy. He, he would be like, whoa, cool shoes, babe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> how know? much are they? Yeah, how much okay, are they? cool. A thousand yeah. dollars? Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. I like oh. that the toe is separate from the rest of the foot. That's cool. You know, have like, you guys ever like tried tabby shoes? I have not. No, I, I have know not. what you're t- I, I've yeah. um, Are they comfortable? They're actually super comfortable. You have, you have some? to wear you special socks. Yeah, you do. Uh. But imagine so like a flip flop does yeah. the same thing, right? Yeah. It, it bisects <laughs> right. yeah. the toe. So it feels from like the a flip flop. It feels like a flip flop. Yeah. Do you have them? I do. I have two pairs. Whoa! But but I, I will say I bought them on steep sale from uh, like Essence and the Real Real, so they're it. not always a thousand dollars. It's yeah. the Margiela ones though. Yeah, yeah, they can be acquired for for much less. Did you? Uh, there are there other? Because I feel like Nike had something that was like this. I was looking yes, at those, the those Nike shoes, Air those. Rift. Yes, I've yeah. been looking for them. I tried to buy them in Japan. Oh, you did? Could yeah. you find them? I couldn't find them. Not really? in store, so I'd have to ship it. And oh. I was like, I don't oh, have enough why. time. Yeah, I've also looked into those, and they're on like Grailed and like Depop yeah. and others. But yeah. it's hard to find your your size. Yes. Um, yeah. I want those. What I is it? What too. is it with these tabby shoes? Because did you ever um, follow my Man Repeller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel this is a very man repeller thing where it it's does, like this is yeah. like this is for us, not for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay? And in fact, yeah. if you the more that makes you want to throw up, the better I feel about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm yeah. Purposely doing this. That's you totally nailed like the allure of the tabby shoe. Ah. Like I feel like when people are, especially fashion people, when they wear them out, like. I, when I wear them on the subway, people like stare at them. Really? Like, they're like looking at the toe, like trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Sometimes the they like toe. take like covert pictures, and like that's oh, kind of really? it's kind of the joy of it. Oh shit! You're like, ugh, like you know, like if you know, you know. Right. Like, I'm wearing this thing that's like so expensive and like rare and like sophisticated. And, like if you're taking pictures, that means that you don't know. Yeah. Like, oh. But it's also like a like yeah, it's like a circle jerky thing. Yeah, yeah, Also yeah. like a little wink, wink. Like they're gonna find out, right? They're gonna Google like fucked up toe shoe <laughs> and be like oh, okay that's what they are and yeah. then like learn more about learn it more and about then they'll it. become part of the in group but um, no, it's like a little meme that like affects your brain totally like a, like, a, like an earworm or yeah. like yeah like now you know you can't unknow it they've yeah. entered mm-hmm, and they're gonna get really like I think a, a lot of people get really upset because then you're like wait what is this brand Mason Margiela yeah right and right. like how much is it what? yeah you yeah, know exactly. and, like, just fly off the handle yeah but also kind of like like footwear has become this like super tribal thing right like if you wear new balances then you're like Um, a new balance person yeah or like if you wear salamons people like oh that's a salamon girl or like yeah that's a salamon girl whatever (laughs) totally um i I was uh told by like a stylist one time that like people notice other people's shoes much more than you'd think oh yeah that has always stuck with me like oh no like i do that i do yeah what are you guys okay let's do uh, let's do our shoe i almost wore my new salamons oh Mm, you did yeah Mm. 
I would have squarely fit in that. That's a good one. What would you? What, you, what are these over right there? These are Labouk. Oh, okay, I like them. They're really Funky. comfortable. Yeah. They're almost like um. They're like Oxfords. They Oxfords? Yeah. yeah they're like Labouk Oxfords. It's because I wanted Doc Martens, but I heard they're uncomfortable, so I went for the more mm. expensive. It takes a little while to break them. Are in. they? Are they comfortable? They're super comfortable. These are oh, very comfortable. Good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, what's going on over here? Uh, with with you, boot. my shoes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, these are a boot from I think it's a, a like a Scandinavian company called ATP. Okay. Oh. Um, that I discovered like a couple of years ago. Yeah. But they're also incredibly comfortable, and I had heard that like Scandinavian leather is like supple oh. and like oh. well crafted. Did you um, buy it in? No, I bought, I, bought them, <laughs> I bought them online. Oh, they, okay, might, okay. they might not even be Scandinavian. They're probably oh, okay. just like Whatever. Canadian. It's a classic <laughs> sleek <laughs> boot, but like with Canadian with Scandinavian branding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoe. What yeah. are you wearing? I have a uh, suede suede Alden chukkas on. Okay. Um, this is one of those shoes where it is like Alden is like the opposite of a tabby shoe, where it is mm. so boring looking that you <laughs> almost like fall into a coma because it's so bo- like it's just like when you think shoe. Like they just think it you is shoe. like shoe. You know when a and kid is, draws a shoe. Yes, exactly. That's what it looks like. You know how Homer Simpson. You know he's wearing those black shoes, which is just like a semicircle. Yeah, it's like that, that. is like that. But yeah. they're very expensive. Like, and I'm I'm out about these on eBay because they're they're like ludicrously pricey. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. a regular. Like Are they a, just really comfortable? They're made of uh like a the suede that Alden finds is like incredible. It's mm. like a beau like yeah. truly. That's the one thing I'll say is like. The luster on the suede is like amazing. It's like yeah. shimmery. Yeah, it's like so go- gorgeous. But it's like, like it may it will make a, like, a- at least with a tabby shoe, you're getting like more toes per dollar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but like that's but girl math. That yeah. is so funny. More toes. You're getting per dollar. Toe, you know what I'm saying? Per per toe, you're yeah. like 500 bucks. So you're like at least you understand that. Whereas like with Alden, you're like it's a shoe. And it's like super duper expensive, and you're not really sure why. Yeah. Uh, other than like, you know, it's like, oh, it's nice all the quality. This, yeah, it's very, it's very nice. It's a very yeah. good shoe, but you it know. kind of reminds me of the like Loro Piana um, exactly shoe. That's exactly it's right. Also like that. Like, yes, it falls kind of like in that camp of like, if you know, you know, mm-hmm. but if you know, you're also probably a moron. You know, I mean? <laughs> like, you're an idiot. Have you ever gotten other like men or women like? Noticing your shoes and like pointing them out, like that's the Alden shoe. Yeah. So if you um, will like, there is like a like you know if we if we go down the uh, what is it the evolutionary tree really far down menswear, um, you know like traditional menswear and then like New York City, uh, live in Lower Manhattan, <laughs> dress in Drakes and like ALD this like tiny subset of, of dudes, mm. we will know. Like we yeah, go yeah, around yeah. and we go, oh, those, those, that's the Alden mm-hmm. tassel loafer, this the other one, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And then we'll be like, oh, those are cool. Um, but it's like, it's like, or the other people who wear these shoes, I swear to God, are like, I don't know, 85 year old lawyers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like, the, the, because like that's all they've only worn ever since graduating from Yale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the shoe I'm gonna wear. Mm-hmm. And they just didn't think about it. But mm-hmm. like, yeah, for, man dorks like me this is what it is yeah beautiful so yeah. you'll like go to metrograph in the lower east side and like everyone will be in the alden shoe no only one other dork will be there mm. wearing this alden shoe and he and i will look at each other but not talk to each yeah, other yeah. Like special special yeah. we'll yeah. be like okay yeah. he's got he's got the uh, leisure, leisure hand sewn on so yeah, do yeah, I. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's got the black ones i've got the but we don't look at each other we're the same but different yeah exactly we're the same but different yeah that's why i feel looking at another blonde asian yeah yeah right you're like no no no. Oh, yeah. no, 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 We can't be friends because if, if we're friends, then we'd be weird. Yeah. It'd be so weird. Yeah. No, no. These, these are these are this is my this is my crew. You go downstairs and hang out in Metrocraft downstairs. I'll have the Metrocraft yeah, upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know what I'm saying? Thinking about it, it would be weird to like encounter two guys hanging out and they're wearing the same shoes. It's like. it's <laughs> like so 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 my favorite store Drake's had a sale and they have a sale like once a year, and uh, so you know it's it's a whole event where I've been going to the sale every year for like three or four years. Mm-hmm. And you know, you gotta go stand in line. It's not like a super long line because it's, it's still very niche, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. like, you know, you go to this thing and just imagine all these guys who are dressed like me standing in front of the store. <laughs> it is so that fucking is weird. so funny. I mean, uh, honestly, everybody looks fire. Yeah, I think. of course. Everybody looks incredible. It's but just like, such a specific, it's just vibe. It's like a subculture, subculture, yeah. subculture. Mm-hmm. And we all know each other now because we keep seeing each other year after year. We're mm-hmm. like, how's the kid? Yeah. You know, Francois, where the yeah. fuck his name is. You know, we all have like the vintage Rolex on. It's like so specific. And um, it's like, 
it's it's just like you know that's community so, so that's it's community beautiful. yeah it is it, it is kind of cool because you it's finally you can be like I can nerd out as hard as yeah. I can mm -hmm. about this one thing and you end up doing that. Although sometimes, mm -hmm. a lot of times, you just end up not like talking to each other because <laughs> right. you're just like, you don't know what to say. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, I understand. Yeah. I, um, right, I don't go to things like the row sample sale uh -huh. for that reason because I hear that it's like a lot of, you know, it's like an endless row of like women who all look exactly. the same. Yeah. Um, and also it was like, I heard like a three hour line. Oh, um, shit. oh my god, no. But I feel like if I went to the row sample sale, I'd like look around. The and one we, that was a we, couple weeks ago, right? I think so, yeah. I think they have it every year in the fall and it's like always like amazing and yeah, yeah, like, yeah. people love it. But yeah. if I went, we'd all just be like, oh, we all love Mary Kate and Ashley. Yeah. Uh, we're all the There'd probably be like a million other blonde Asians. Right. <laughs> it would be great if somebody went to that sample sale but was dressed like Mary Kate and Ashley from their acting days. Like yeah. from their kid yeah. movie. Yeah. Oshkosh, gosh, yeah. gosh yeah. overalls. That would be me. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly you know that would be me. I would do that. Yeah. They were very fashionable back then too. They were. Yes. They were There's never been a good. moment where they looked bad. No. Yeah. No, they always look good. Literally mm -hmm. iconic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sample sale. The sample sale fashion thing is such a New York. Yeah. Experience. You're right that it, it's community is where. It's community. Yeah. At Maybe the end I of the should day. go and like try and yeah. like with the aim of befriending other women. You probably in line. could do it. You mm -hmm. definitely somewhat could. easily. Mm -hmm. Do you think? Okay, would you play it up a little bit? Your your outfit. For the sample sale, I feel like inevitably, a yeah, bit. right, yeah, like to get to get the the right people to come to you to mm -hmm, track them mm -hmm, to, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, are you pulling out the tabbies then? Probably. <gasps> wow. I'm wearing the tabbies. You got it. You got it. Uh, yeah. And then, like every other girl would be wearing the tabbies. Wasn't yeah. there a tabby like, meetup? Uh, Wasn't there a tabby meetup? Oh yeah, there. Were, so so after this whole like viral thing happened, this bar in the Lower East Side threw a tabby party, <laughs> and I went in you the tabbies. Oh shit! So did the girl whose tabbies were stolen, um, and like it was like a ton of other tabby yeah. wearers. Um, and because they're like, you know, the shoes. Are so like, the shoes were there. The, the shoes, shoes. The shoes and every yeah, the shoes were like everywhere in this little bar. And because the shoes are kind of like, they're like hooves a yeah. little bit. Like it was kind of like being like horses in like a little stable, yeah. like clonking clock, around. Clock, clock, we were all just like, yeah, it was very cute. Wow, oh. it is community. Yeah. Blake, Fashion is community. Blake would have loved that. He loves horses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he unironically loves horses. Uh, yeah. He's so hot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Amy, once again, thank you for, yes, for thank joining you. us on the show and introducing us uh, to, uh, to Tabby tabbies culture. Yeah. And helping <laughs> us realize that we all just either want to be or be in love with Blake. Yeah. 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 You we know? all want him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you're listening to this show, uh, thank you very much for. for for doing that work and uh, our fans find you and your work um uh ambiently like ambiently. online <laughs> <laughs> and in new york city um i write and edit for the new york times magazine and i also like write fiction sometimes oh shit so cool. and whatnot um but yeah i'm on the socials like the internet you mean in the ether drop your drop your, your, uh, handle. your instagram handle it's um a x w w x a Oh, here we go. Here we go. You can always find us on Instagram at uh, Asian Not Asian Pod. You can find me on there at Nice Pants Bro. I'm at January Moto. We would love to see you December uh, 8th. Yes. Or December 19th, depending on which geography Coast you are. You live in, we'll be yeah. fire if somebody went to both coasts. That would be crazy. That would be tight as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, They'd be two very different shows. Very different shows. And so, yeah, we'd love to come out, wear your tabbies. Why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wear your tabbies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me try on your tabbies. Let me yeah. try on yeah. your tabbies. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I told you somebody can definitely. Yeah, I oh, feel yeah. like that's very doable. Uh, and then, until then, 